Hey, what's up, chitheads? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be changing the oil and swapping out the handlebars on the Talaria MX-5. But you know what? We're not gonna be doing that by scouring over the owner's manual and like, oh, how much torque do I put the drain plug to? No, we're not gonna do that at all. First off, because I can't read, and second off, because we're real men around here. So we're gonna do it the old-fashioned way by getting in there, getting our hands dirty, and figuring it out as we go. Does that sound like something you guys wanna do? Anyways, I better get started, because you know what, truth be told, you're already starting to piss me off. All right, guys, we're just gonna get right into it here. See, first thing you're gonna notice, hey, I don't have any other fancy tools, I don't have a, a stand for my motorcycle, no. I'm gonna do mine in my living room for a couple of reasons. Number one, this is my house, I'll do whatever I want, nobody tells me what to do. And number two, I can't afford a stand and I don't have a garage to do any of this stuff in. We're gonna be using this ratchet set here. And these are ratchets, not to be conf uh, confused with the other type of ratchets or the ones that like to twerk or perhaps start an OnlyFans, no. This is known as a ratchet set for those of you people who never worked with your hands a day of your life. And an Allen wrench set that we're gonna use in conjunction with the ratchet set, okay? Do I need to explain every little thing or can I just get in here and start getting the work? The gearbox is back here. So we need to take off this uh, bash guard here to get access to where we need to drain the oil. You know, guys, I almost forgot to tell you, I had one of the very first Talaria MX-5s. So I was lucky, I got the flex all over on my haters. It's like, hey, I got a Talaria MX-5. And what, are you still riding around your MX-4? What do you got, an E-Ride or Surron? Please, don't even talk to me. But unfortunately, being an early adopter comes with some, uh, unfortunate consequences. And one of those was that this bike came equipped with a thermonuclear warhead known as a Scud battery. But you know, Eric over at Luna Cycles, the real, being the real man that he is, he built that business from the bottom all the way up to the top where you see now. He started it, he wasn't asking for handouts like you people needing someone to tell you how to change the oil on your dirt bike. No, they made a mistake. He's gonna take accountability for this. He dropped right out in front of it and said, look, your bike potentially came with a bomb that could burn down your house and destroy everything you've worked for your entire life. But to make it better, I'm gonna go ahead and send you a known safe Greenway battery pack and to pick up the old battery pack, I'm gonna send out my own father, Hobie, to his cyber truck to pick up the old battery and deliver this care package. So check this out, guys. I know this handlebar is in here. I don't know exactly what else is in here quite yet, but you know what, we'll figure it out together. There is a nut on the other side of this. You know, this reminds me of the first time I changed the oil in my car. All I, only tool I had to use was a stick welder. That was back before the internet. We didn't have people telling us what to do. We just figured it out. There's one bolt. Oh, real cute, guys. It's two. Now, I'm not going to turn the camera around to the other side, guys. You're going to have to use your imagination, but I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, we got it open here. Let's see what we're looking at. I don't know what we're looking at. Well, looks like we got even more stuff to take off here. We're going to take off the bolts that hold on this little cover here. It's two bolts. Second bolt is up here towards the top. All right. We can see now the drain plug here, and that's the fill plug on the top. There's a little bracket underneath here I believe we're going to have to take off because there's cute little engineers over at Talaria. I thought it'd be funny to put this little bracket directly in the way of what we needed to work with. So thanks a lot, guys. Real cute. Of course, they torqued this down to about 355 foot-pounds, you know, just to make this extra fun to take off. Thanks. Thanks again, guys. That's so why they, so the engineers get to hide behind their desk and do stuff like this. They don't take accountability like Eric does, you know? Okay, I'm gonna take this bolt is out. I'm gonna slide this down now. And now we can take out the drain plug. Hey guys, don't just go take out that bolt right now because you know what? All that oil is gonna come gushing right out. So what I've done, I'm gonna use a mixing bowl out of my kitchen. You know why? Because this is my house and I'll do whatever I want. What do you guys, maybe you guys should get a permission slip from your parents to ask if you can change the oil in there. Or maybe you're one of those people that are rich and you have a garage like Elon Musk. It is a 17 millimeter. We're gonna use a half inch drive because we're real men. It's righty tighty lefty loosey guys. Now we're gonna drain the oil. Obligatory, we're gonna drain some of it onto our hands first. You know, maybe I should get a paper towel. I'll be right back. And we're back. So I got a paper towel here. 
And I'm gonna try and see if I can open up the top. This is just too much, a little bit too much torque for your hands. Look at this cute little dipstick. I just wanna see what happens when I spin the tire. Okay, it looks like it's done, done draining. Guys, don't throw away the oil because at the end of this, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a cake with that oil because we don't waste anything around here. So it's time to put the drain plug back in. It's righty tidy, lefty loosey. It's a little hard to tell when, you got, when you're doing it up for underneath, but unfortunately, it all becomes loosey when you, uh, if you tighten it too hard. Just snug, not too tight. Now it's time to put some caulk in there. I mean, gear oil. Now, I was actually thinking about using a little bit of 50 weight Trimbalone oil, but you know, for the purposes of this video, we're gonna use the oil that the bike came with. Just a little pinch between the cheek and the gums. Yeah, let that go in there nice and slow. You cannot fill this too fast or it starts to overflow. So, you know, I found that if you keep this just a tad above it, you can watch it drain in there. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm not, I'm doing this with one hand, so not very easy. Oh, and just for you people who think, oh, I'm just doing this for the video. Oh, you just have the dirt bike in your living room for the video. No, guys, look at this. This is my house. This is how I live. My entire house is filled with bikes. This is what happens when you're a 45 year old man and your wife leaves you and takes the kids. Okay, you get to do whatever you want at your house. No questions asked. I think we're about there. I'm gonna to use the dipstick here and see. Check our oil level. Oh, looks like we're full. You know, I'm gonna spin this tire a couple times just to get the gears in there moving, make sure it fit, gets down in all the little nooks and crannies. Because I like to think, you know, what would John Wayne do? I can't swim. How old are you? Six. The Duke. You know, it helps sometimes when you're doing stuff like this if you have those little tiny hands. Okay, clean up after yourself. Wipe up all the oil you spilled. And it's time to repeat the process of disassembly. Remember guys, we're saving the oil. The nice thing is, uh, first interval is at 180 miles. But after that, I believe it's something like every 3,000. So you're not gonna have to do this for quite a while. Tighten this back up. Using the uh, trusty Ugga method of torquing. Uh, I'm going to give this about one and a half Ugga Duggas. That seems like it's tight. A little plastic cover back on. Anyone else see that Talaria logo and think it's like Porsche or Lamborghini or something? What do you call like those uh, other human beings that hang out with you by choice? Oh, friends. This would be nice to have a friend to help you. But, you know, we get to real men that we are we got to learn how to rely on ourselves and yeah, for reference that's what the used oil looked like uh not too pretty granted i don't know how much that's from this dirty bowl all right now it's time to see what hobie Kloss brought us payload supply drop snacks oil for another oil change some pocket sticks uh, looks like a metal bracket to hold the uh, display in. That's cool. Handlebars, and this looks like a seat. Here is a close-up of the seat. Uh, looks like a fair amount of cushioning on there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be using this seat because I really like the MX-5 stock seats. But nevertheless, I have a seat and you don't. Oh, that's rem that reminds me, guys. I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway on this channel. Uh, the first person who gives me a super chat of $50 or more will get a free subscription to the channel. Anyone wants a seat, I'll sell it to you for the price of shipping. Thank you, Hobie Kloss. So let's go ahead and put on these handlebars. What do you say? It's gonna be nice to have a little bit of rise in the handlebars, you know, cause I'm like uh, seven feet tall. You know? I also wanna change the region to the left side as uh, if you've ridden one of these, it's kind of easy to whiskey throttle. Sometimes you'll be going to slow down and you end up twisting the throttle and yeah, you don't want that. All in all, I really like this bike so far. Uh, it's a great all around package. It's fast. It's got awesome suspension, really good brakes. I feel like uh, they didn't just cheap out and go all, put it all in the power. You know, this is a well thought out package. The battery recharges in three hours. I mean, how cool is that? If you haven't learned by now, any man worth his weight in salt has extra zip ties at all times. So get your guys, go down to Harbor Freight, uh, maybe go to Amazon, 
order yourself one gazillion with zip ties and uh, never go without again. Taking off grips is not fun. I don't know why they don't just use locking grips on dirt bikes, guys. Do any of you know why? Do any of you guys know why we're still using these uh, old style grips on these motorcycles? I don't understand it personally. I'm sure you can put in the comments some cute little trick, you know. You can put a little dish soap, put some water in there. Look, guys, I like to do things the hard way sometimes, okay? That's why I'm doing this video, filming this while you're sitting at home, pointing at the screen saying, hey, he's doing it wrong. Well, you know what? The difference is I'm doing it and you're not. It's like getting a little bit of cardio while you're at it. Two birds with one stone, as far as I'm concerned. The th throttle comes right off. Throttle's not a glue on one. Okay, that's cool. I only have to struggle with one side. We got the old bars off. You guys didn't know I was a rapper, did you? Because I got them bars. <laughs> you get it? Because bars is like when they, a, a verse that rhymes. Okay, we're gonna kind of just mock up where we want everything before we go slapping everything on willy-nilly like. Okay, before we tighten everything down, get on here and, you know, make sure everything is where you want it. Measure three times, cut twice, and then regret where you put everything for a lifetime. You know, one of the comments told me that open these bags, the zip tie bags in the middle, and then you can just reach in and grab a few at a time. So, hey guys, I do read the comments and I learned. Just a pinch between the cheek and the gums. All right guys, we're all done. We changed the oil, we swapped out the bars, and now it's time to go ahead and test everything out. But you know what? Let's go ahead and recap this video. What did we learn today? Well, we learned how to change the oil. We learned that any man worth his weight in salt should be buying zip ties in bulk. We learned how to take accountability. Hobie's a living legend. And you know what? I don't know what else we learned today because I honestly stopped paying attention about halfway through filming this video. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.